What's up guys, welcome to another photography tutorial video where I'm gonna show you how you can take a bunch of different images shot at different exposures, blend them together in Lightroom and Photoshop and get one perfectly exposed image at the end. I'm Jared and this video is going to show you guys how you can merge a bunch of different photos together and get a high dynamic range image very easily, very quickly in Lightroom or Photoshop depending on what tool you want to use and how complex it is. Now this is kind of a follow on video from what we released last week where I was actually out in the field and taking a bunch of different images from the Natural Bridge Falls in Springbrook National Park in Australia. Now I've done that, I've shown you what to do in the field, you get a bunch of different photos, shoot them at different exposures to target the highlights and the shadows and then to get the end result it requires a little bit of wizardry and magic in Adobe Lightroom or Photoshop and some people kind of freak out at the whole idea of going into the editing process but I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do super quick all right let's get off the camera and into the laptop right now Okay, so I've opened up Adobe Lightroom. It's just a creative cloud version that you can get. It's like 10 bucks a month. Highly recommend getting it. If you don't already have it, I'll put a link in the description below so that you can go through and buy it. It's well worth having if you're looking to edit your photos. So basically what I've done now is I've already imported those four images from the natural bridge up in Springbrook National Park. They're right here in the program. And the first thing you do is you go through into the develop stage and you just basically make sure that all the camera settings are already synced. So you got the four images here. You can see that this one I shot kind of in a mid range, so I've got it like a general exposure. You got this one here where I expose for these kind of trees and leaves on the outside, so it was a much faster exposure 0.4 of a second, so I could get all the details in that. The next one was a little bit longer shooting at four seconds so I got a little bit more detail here in these shadows and the last photo I took which is just completely blown out but you can see I've got a lot of detail in the rocks up inside this cave here so by merging all those photos together I should end up with a photo where you have all the details from everything in the scene nice and easy so like I mentioned the first thing I do is make sure all the camera settings are synced I go through just pick the first photo enable profile corrections, remove chromatic aberration, and then just adjust the white balance just to something that you're happy with. Don't have to make any major changes yet because you're gonna go through and edit that later. But yeah, just uh, adjust the temperature, tint, find something that you're happy with. That'll, that'll be nice, that's perfect right there. And then hold shift, then click here, select all the photos that you want to be editing and merging together, and then just hit sync down here and synchronize those images. Basically what that will do is it will just paste all the settings across all four images so that you don't have to go through and do that manually in case you mess anything up. And then you can see all the uh, white balance and the temperature and tint up here are the same. The profile corrections have been put in and yeah, good to go. You don't have to go through and adjust any of the uh, highlights or shadows, contrast, anything like that. We'll do that later. Basically now the next step is to select all your photos, two finger click if you're on a laptop, if you have a mouse, you can use the right finger click. Go up here to photo merge and then HDR. And depending on how new your computer is and how fast it is, this will happen really quickly. If you're using old equipment like we are, it may take a little while. So let's just speed this up now and jump through to the shown images at the end. Waiting, waiting. Okay, it is finished now. Lightroom has merged all four images successfully into an HDR shot. And basically, this is kind of how it's gonna turn out at the end. You've got auto align here, which will do what it says it's gonna do and just auto align all those images in case they are off a little bit, which can happen just through kind of focus hunting or if you've bumped the camera or something in between those exposures. So auto align is perfect. Uh, auto settings, don't worry about that. You can do it if you want, or it's totally up to you. You can see what it does there, but I prefer to have a little bit more control by going through and doing that later in the final image. So I'll just leave that off. And de-ghost them out. Ghosting is basically something moves. So like if you have someone walking through your scene or some trees are kind of shuffling around a little bit, uh, this will remove that de-ghosting 
that can occur. So I'm going to leave it just on low for now. It doesn't look like there's much ghosting in there anyway. Um, create stack. You don't really have to do this in Lightroom if you don't want to. Uh, show de-ghost overlay. If there is a lot of ghosting, we'll show you what that is. And then, yeah, that's basically it. Lightroom's already done all the hard work for you. Now you hit the big blue merge button and let Lightroom do its thing. Okay, Lightroom has finished the blend. You can see the image has popped up just here. It has given it a different name, hdr-2.dng, so it saved it as a DNG file, which is great. It's almost like a raw image. You can maintain all your details in there, which is awesome. And now basically, that is your HDR photo. It doesn't look great right now, but you can go through and do your basic editing. This is not a editing tutorial. Everyone can edit their photos differently, but I'll just show you very quickly what I would do to go through and edit this nice and quick. First thing, drop the highlights so you get some of those details back in the leaves over here. Boost those shadows and you can see, look how much detail merging those HDR photos has given us in those shadows. It's absolutely crazy. Basically, you've got all the detail you could ever want. Now that looks a little bit unnatural, so just gonna drop that down a little bit, keeping an eye on your histogram up here to see how far you are crushing the blacks or the whites. Another little secret you can do is you can hold the option key when you are editing, and by adjusting your whites, all the blacks, all the shadows and highlights, it'll show you when those uh, highlights or the whites or blacks are starting to clip. So just crush that up a little bit so you've got the whites coming out a little bit. You can drop the blacks here, and there we go. So you've got a really well exposed image across the whole spectrum of color there, and the rest of it is totally up to you. you can improve the clarity a little bit, bring up the texture if you want, maybe bring that vibrance up and drop the saturation, keeping it looking a little bit natural. You can go back up here to the white balance, adjust it as you see fit. And yeah, there's a lot you can do. You can go through and brush all this. You can change all up the uh, shadows here, but we're not going to go into that right now. And that's basically it. This is a very quick edit of what you can do to get a perfectly exposed HDR image by blending those photos in Adobe Lightroom. And that is it guys. That is how you can blend photos together in Adobe Lightroom quick and easy without any kind of complicated systems or anything like that. You don't need any third party software. It is very simple and very effective. To give you an idea how those photos look if you go through and edit them properly, here they are. Can see you get a lot of details in both the shadows and the highlights by blending those photos together it is a very effective tool in any kind of photography and if you want to know more about how you can actually edit the photos i'll be doing a editing tutorial later on in the episode series that we are now kind of doing but that's it for blending photos together in adobe lightroom if you like the video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button leave a comment below and hit that subscribe button it really helps us out and encourages us to keep bringing out free content for you guys to help you improve your photography techniques and skills. And if you want a different video or you want us to dive into some other techniques, let us know in the comments or hit us up on other social media platforms and we'll do the best we can to get more photography tutorial videos to you guys. But in the meantime, happy shooting, get out there, take a bunch of photos, blend them together in Lightroom and Photoshop. And if you do, tag us and show us what kind of photos you are putting together so that we can come through and check them out because we love doing that as well. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the next adventure.